have you been thinking about making your home super energy efficient and super great at conserving water? You don't want to be paying those high energy bills for gas or electric. You don't want to pay water bills, high water bills, and you don't you don't want to be wasting that stuff. You want to have a place where it feels really good that you're being a steward of these resources that we have. And if that is you and you're thinking that would all be so cool, but I don't really know how the heck I'm going to pay for this. Well, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you 10 different places that you can check that have money and resources, expertise to help you make those transformations happen. My name is Joan Gregerson. I'm a realtor here in Denver, Colorado, and I help people buy, sell, and invest with confidence and make a positive environmental impact along the way. All right, so let's dive in. The number one place that you want to check is your electric and gas utility. Here in Colorado, we have XL Energy in the front range, so it provides gas and electric. So that's one call, but you might have two different companies to call. The reason you want to start there is your energy bills are probably the largest um, compared to maybe water and you they have the biggest rebates. I did another video about the home energy audit and how that can help you figure out what all you need to do. But just know that the number one place to check for rebates, energy audits, all that stuff is your gas and electric utility. The number two place that you're going to want to check is your, um, your water utility. So wherever you're getting your water, they're probably going to have some cool programs like Aurora Water. Aurora is just outside of Denver. They have rebates for water-wise landscaping, high-efficiency toilets, irrigation efficiency. They have a low-income program. They'll do water use assessments, there's conservation classes. Um, and the very coolest thing is, oh, and this Know Your Flow, they'll tell you like what your water use is compared to your neighbors, which is amazing. Um, but when, in this video, we're talking about money and this rebate here for WaterWise Landscaping from Aurora is amazing. They'll give you $3,000 when you renovate at least 500 square feet of healthy bluegrass lawn and replace it with a low water landscape. Now, in 2022, there was a bill passed in Colorado that makes more of, that encourages more uh, water utilities in Colorado to do this. And they, I know there's similar programs around the country, maybe around the world. So definitely check with your water utility as your number two place to call. Number three is the weatherization assistance program. So if you qualify for these low income programs or if you are um, a landlord or you're, you're renovating some, some properties for low income tenants, then you might qualify for the weatherization assistance program. It's an amazing program. Um, I used to uh, work, was training with a guy who was part of this for a while and was writing stories for the local paper. Uh, just They do such amazing work. What's cool is the programs have expanded. So in addition to all these you know, energy audits, air sealing, insulation, they, some of the programs also install solar and they will convert the, replace the, the gas furnace with air source heat pump. So they're helping the low income homes become net zero homes, which is super cool. All right, number four is to contact your city. Uh, these are the rebates for the Denver Climate Action Fund. Everything from e-bikes to EV charging to air source heat pumps, ground source heat pumps, um, heat pump water heaters, solar battery storage, electric service upgrade. I did another video about the Denver Climate Protection Fund and how Denver is funding all this and how you might want to create something similar for your city. All right, number five is to reach out to your county. Some places like Denver, city and county are the same government, but other places like Boulder, there's Boulder, there's the city and there's Boulder County. Um, so you can see that the Energy Smart Program in Boulder County 
has, you know, all this money to spend on their goals of helping at least 10,000 homes and 3000 businesses. Um, I guess that was their initial thing. So now they're, they're doing their next phase. So I'm not sure what all these programs are, but just that's your number five thing is check to see if there's some programs through your county. All right, the next one is the state. So you can reach out to your state energy office. And, you know, here it's got like things about zero emission vehicle tax credits and um, the can do Colorado e-bike pilot program, EV charging station grants, EV coaching, clean energy grants, agriculture, um, you know, K-12, like there are just so many different options here. So if you are interested in doing something, reach out to your state energy office to see what programs they have. All right, so number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven, number seven is financing. Let's say you don't find the money that you need to do it, but you realize, gosh, if I invested and finance this, I could get very close to a net zero energy home or, you know, the kind of water lands, the water wise landscape that I want right now. Um, and then over time, I'll be saving on my electric gas water bills. So if you're interested in that, then check and see what kind of financing options are available. In Colorado, there's one from the state energy office. That's the renew program. It has better terms than some of the other uh, financing that's out there, no money down, finance up to 100% of the cost, up to $75,000. And you can finance all these things that you might be thinking of, like solar, um, EV charging, water heating, windows, doors, and more. But in addition to special programs like this, you can just contact a lender or reach out and I'll connect you um, with some of the lenders I work with for a renovation loan if you're buying a new home. Or maybe you can do a home equity loan or line of credit to come up with the money to make these improvements now and save as you're going forward. All right, so the next one that we're looking at here is number eight. This is the eighth place that you can call or check for money, and that is federal. So we talked about um, the utilities and then city, county, state. Now we're looking at federal. You, The one that really stands out to me is the federal tax credit for solar. In 2022, it's 26%. Um, that means, let's say that you buy a solar system for $40,000, 26% 20 of that amount will come back to you or that you can uh, claim a credit of 26% of that amount on your taxes. So if you owed that amount, you claim that amount, now you don't owe those taxes. It's pretty cool. Um, all right. So then the number nine place that you can check, let's say you're just like, you know what, there are so many rebates. I can't even figure it out. Well, good news. You don't have to, let's say that you do want to get solar. Um, you don't really have to figure it out. I used to work, uh, designing and selling solar. And that's what we did all day long is help people understand how much this thing is going to cost, how much it's going to produce and what are the different rebates and financing options for you? Um, I have some other videos with Dara Herman, who's a consultant with Sunrun. So you can check those out. Like there's one buy versus lease if you're trying to make that decision. But the best way to do it is to talk to someone at one of these manufacturers of whatever it is you want, whether it's solar or an e-bike they already know what the rebates are, how you can apply for it, um, and any of the details because it's in their best interest. It helps their business. So they're on top of it. And the last place that you can look for rebates is called the Desire Database. It's D-S-I-R-E. And basically what happens here is you can put in, um, I think I already put a, a zip code in there but let's say you want, okay, that wasn't a good one. I guess it's only energy. That's not a great search term that I have, I guess. Um, but anyhow, this has an, the database of all the rebate programs that they know about. 
I've noticed that some of the, the more changeable ones like the cities don't always show up here. And that's why you wanna check a few different ones or work with someone like me and I can help you find all those different rebates for your situation. And I would love to help you, you know, make those changes, save on your energy and water bills and create a more, uh, you know, a place that's really respects nature that we're not, um, that we're not using these different resources, uh, you know, that we're not wasting these different resources. We're using them wisely. All right. So my recap, number one is your gas and electric utility. Number two is your water utility. Number three, weatherization income or weatherization assistance, then city, county, state, federal, uh, oh, sorry, financing, and then federal, and then the manufacturers, uh, and then on to the desire database. All right. Well, I hope you are excited about this whole um, idea. There's a dog behind me and then at the neighbor's house that is very excited. I can hear. <laughs> and uh, so if you're interested in making a change, definitely email, call, text me. Let's hop on a Zoom call. Let's make some progress helping you make your home um, this place that you're you're, that's exactly what you want. All right. Well, I hope to see you very soon in the Mile High City. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you won't miss another one of the videos from the Denver Green Living channel. And I hope to see you very soon in the Mile High City.